Do you ever export out your song and it just doesn't quite sound all there yet? Well, chances are it's probably something going on in the back end that's really easy to fix and I got you covered. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to get the best quality sound out of your exports on FL Studio. It's really easy. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, maybe even grab your mom. Who knows? Maybe her songs are sounding pretty sh <laughs> So we got this song in here, like so. Cool song. Anyways, cool song. So let's say we want to export this song out and make it the best quality we can possibly make it. There are some important steps. Now beforehand, if you guys want to hear it in the best quality while you're making it, all you guys have to do is go to options, go to audio settings, and pretty much the sample rate setting right here is, uh, the, this, the quality <laughs> now this is just for as you're hearing it you don't need to have this crazy high i personally recommend 4800 because that means you can also render out mp3s as well if you go any higher than 4800 you can't render out mp3s not really sure why <laughs> it just doesn't work a side note though the higher you do go it's going to be harder on your pc to run so if you do have a laptop that's not very good or a pc that's not very good i don't recommend doing that i have a really beefy computer and i still run 4800 a big bonus of that is not only the quality that you're hearing it but also if you're running off of fl studio as you have to hear yourself while you're recording and stuff like that it'll shorten that a second time so then you hear yourself faster but anyways to get to rendering your song out okay all you have to do obviously is you'll file export and you go to wave so you're brought to this screen and uh this is where people get really confused so i'm gonna make it really really easy for you guys so you guys can actually render two things at once if you guys want to for a lot of producers i know you guys render waves and mp3s for like your leases and stuff like that and you guys can save a lot of time literally by just clicking mp3 as well it's very swag you can do it all at once we're gonna be going over just the wave file if you want to get the best sound you want to render it as a wave file so for mode there's two options there's pattern and full song pattern will just be like five, five bars. bars or nine bars whatever you have laid out right there so just click full song makes it way easier and then for the tail just to cut remainder so essentially it's just going to cut as soon as there's nothing else going on pretty much just the end of the song <laughs> and for the wave bit depth uh put that on 32 bit float pretty much just the highest quality for a bit float you can get now the biggest factor in this is the quality now you're going to click on this and you're going to want to put this on 512 point sync okay so there's an upside and a downside for this the upside outweighs the downside by a million the upside is you're going to get the best sounding song you can possibly get now the downside is the file is going to be massive compared to mp3s and stuff like that so only thing is it's going to take up a little bit more space in your computer now for the miscellaneous down here you definitely want to enable the master effects you can save tempo information and note markers if you like feel free to just go ahead and just copy all of my settings if you want now enabling master effects is super super important so make sure that's on essentially if you've thrown like a master preset or something on your song and you have that off it's going to render with no master preset on and you're going to be like what the hell so for example if i were to throw on my all around master preset which by the way this shit is busted look at this it's beautiful. It's fully customizable, very swag. So this is before, right? With no mastering and then with mastering. It just opens it opens it way up. I have a ton of videos on it. But essentially, if you have that enable master effects off, it's not going to keep that on there. Anything you've done to the master is just going to it's going to turn it off. So make sure that is on, okay? But yeah, if you guys are looking to upgrade your music in any other way, whether that be your vocals, whether that be mastering your music and all that kind of stuff, and I make a bunch of videos with a bunch of underground artists to pretty much help get your music to that next level. But anyways, it's been a real gutter. I'll see you in the next one. Semina, remina, femina, demina.